Okay, hi everyone. This is a video for Magento on how to create a simple product and then how to duplicate that simple product, making the process easier of creating new products um, seamlessly and faster in Magento than having to do them one at a time. So here we are logged into the dashboard. We're going to go up to Catalog. We're going to select Manage Products. From the Manage Products screen, we are going to see all of the products that are here that I've already created. Um, for this purpose, I'm going to actually step you through creating a brand new one. Um, so you can see from scratch how it, how it works. So we're going to go up here to the right side, upper, and push uh, Add a Product. Now you'll notice here whether you're, it's going to ask you if you want to create a simple product or if you want to create a grouped or configurable product. You have various options here, but uh, for the purpose of this video we're just going to do a simple product. Um, and I'll explain at the end of the video the, what a simple product is and the difference between a simple product and a configurable product, which is what the majority of everyone using Magento is going to need. So I'll hit continue. Okay, here we are inside the product window. On the left-hand side, you'll see all of the, um, let's, we'll call them tabs, as you will, of items that need to be um, looked through. There's particularly ones that we need to pay attention to. The rest of them, kind of, uh, we don't need to worry about. Um, at, for, this, for this point, we're just going to be creating some simple products. So a simple product here that uh, I'm going to be creating will be, we'll just say, uh, test one. Uh, that will be one of the products and then we'll use um, any SKU number. I've already got a SKU number saved here from the product that I'm working on. Select that SKU number. You have to add in a weight, so we're just going to say one pound. Um, select the status, so we're going to either able, enable or disable the product. We're going to enable the product. The tax classification, whether it's a taxable good, whether it's uh, just shipping, and we're going to set taxable good. The URL key, that's going to pull directly from uh, the names queue here, so I don't really need to do anything with that. Visibility is important. If I were to leave it as a simple product for catalog and search, um, that means it wouldn't be listed inside the configurable product. So we're, only, we're going to change this for purpose of, um, this is going to be an inventory related product only, meaning it's a simple product for inventory purposes and it will be tied and bound to a configurable product so we don't want to show it on the store individually. Um, I know it's a little confusing for some people to figure out kind of the difference between a simple product and configurable. I'll do the, my best to, uh, to straighten helping, helping you learn figure that out. So uh, let's see so we're going to go to not visible individually meaning that it's going to be tied to a configurable. Uh, manufacturers Calafia which I've already added in the color of this product is going to be white. Country of manufacture doesn't matter. If you wanted to set um, the product as new from a certain time to a certain time, that's like if you have a home a um, a new product block set up on the home page, you could set these fields here and it will appear only in that block um, during those time periods. So up the left hand side, you don't have to save yet. Um, so we're just going to go right to pricing. You have to have a price, so we're going to say $100, and that's really all we're going to pay attention to on this page. Um, is the product available for purchase with Google Checkout? Yes. Uh, use configurable settings for this. Um, meta description data. This would be where you would enter in any meta description data, but since it's a simple product and it's related to only inventory, we don't need to do that. Images. Also, we don't need to add any images because that's going to be tied to the configurable product. This is for inventory purposes only. Uh, description, same thing. Design, same thing. Um, reoccurring profile, gift options. Reward points, which is a plugin that we've installed. We don't have to apply anything to that yet at this point. So really what's most important is going to be general, price information. Then from here we're going to go straight to inventory. We need to make sure that we have some actual inventory. 
make sure that the product is actually in stock. Then we're going to go to websites. We're going to make sure that it's set up for the websites and the versions. Uh, we're going to go set up and make sure that it's enabled for the particular category. So it actually shows up in that category. So and that's Leo and Arena. And related products, upsells, cross sells, and custom options we don't need to worry about. So we're basically finished. Product is enabled, it's a taxable good. We have the name, the SKU, the weight, um, visibility, not available in individually. We set the manufacturer and the color. We've set the price. We've set the inventory. We've set the website that it's attached to. We've set the categories. And that's basically it. So now we're going to hit uh, save. If we hit save and continue, it allows us to continue to work in these tabs and it brings us right back to this product. If we hit save, it takes us away from this product, which we're going to do. Oh, it wants a basic description. Basic description. It doesn't matter for this because it's not going to show up. So. Okay, I'm going to hit uh, save. Value of SKU must be unique. The value of attribute SKU must be unique. Oh, I bet you I have another one with that same attribute. So we'll just call this one uh, 610. Because I'm going to delete this one when I'm done anyway. I'm just doing this for the purpose of uh, showing you how to create one. Okay, so that's completed. And that's how to create a simple product for inventory purposes only. So now I'm actually going to go in here and delete this. Because I don't need it. And now I'm actually going to go into a product that I've been working on, um, all these products. And I'm going to show you how to create a simple product from an existing simple product by duplicating it. It saves you uh, a few clicks, a good amount of clicks, and a good amount of typing, actually. So we just go right into the product. This one you can see has got all the information. It's got the SKU. It's got the actual um, product name here. We're going to go to a new product. Um, which is Magic Fairy. Oh, Magic Fairy, I've already got the extra small already done, which is perfect. Um, now we're going to go on to the small. So I've got the extra small here. The name is important because you want to be able to identify the product. The cat, so what I've done here, as I said, that this is the actual, uh, the Leo is the category line. So the, the product line is Leo, Leo, uh, Leo Narino, Leo Narina, excuse me. Um, Magic Fairy is the name of the product, and Extra Small is the size of the product. Um, that's not important for the front end of the store because that's not something that the customer would see. They would only see this if you didn't attach it to a configurable and you set it to um, visible within search and catalog, which we're not going to be doing. So the SKU is important because obviously the SKU is the unique identifying marker that allows you to uh, allows the store to know what exact product that is. Um, with the size and so forth. So here we're going to say um, we want to duplicate this product. Um, we already got 613, so this product's already created. You just go up to this duplicate button here. So we actually select duplicate. And what's nice is it empties out the fields that you need to change. Well, most of them anyway, the SKU particularly. Here I've already got the SKU saved, so it's easy for me to just pop back in here. And I'm going to change the number to the next number for small. I'm going to remove the X because this is now small. I'm going to make sure that it's enabled because it disables it after you duplicate it. I'm going to then copy this and change the URL key for that. Not available individually, which is perfect. Calafia, white, it's extra small. No, it's small. So we're going to change that. 
Then we're going to go over here to inventory, which is the next important piece. We're going to add some inventory. We're going to make sure that it's in stock. We already know that it's attached to this website and it's attached to these categories, which is already in set because that's part of when you create the duplicate. So it actually allows you to skip those elements. Um, and then for this purpose, back to general, everything's done and then we will hit uh, save and continue it's going to refresh, take me back to this page again and then I'm going to go ahead and do this again, now I'm going to go for medium so I'm going to hit duplicate again change the text here to medium. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to drop it in here and change the URL link. I'm going to copy my unique SKU. I'm going to change the number to 15. I'm going to enable it. Uh, it's already set for these. I'm going to make sure that it says medium and not small. I'm going to go to inventory and make sure I've got inventory. I'm going to make sure that it's in stock. And I already know it's attached to websites and categories. Related products, if I want to attach that, that's going to be under configurable, so you don't need to worry about that here. And that is pretty much it. That's how to set a um, simple product, or excuse me, create a simple product, and then duplicate a simple product from another one, um, changing the fields and information that match to the new product. Um, I'm going to hit save and continue. And then that's it for that. I've created a couple duplications and I've created a simple product. Um, I'll explain a little bit about the difference between a simple and a configurable product so it's a little easier to understand. I know that some people get stuck with this, a lot of my customers, clients get stuck with this. A simple product for an all intent purposes is it's one product that really has no attributes attached to it. And an attribute is something such as size, or weight, color, um, that type of thing. So because this product is a shirt and there's multiple sizes, we need to have an, an attribute. And the attribute for this obviously would be size. So in order to do that, we create what's called a a simple product that is specific to that size and then we show not visible in the cart because we're only going to show the product visible when it's attached to a configurable product so then we create a configurable product and when you create a configurable product you show that in search you add all the images you add all the description information you add all the metadata you add the pricing um, you add the inventory you add everything all your related products you add everything to the configurable and then you actually add the products that you'll be attaching to that configurable product by selecting them um, in the configurable product settings. So the configurable product is the product that actually shows up on the website that the customers would see for shopping. It allows them to see um, all the information related to that product and what sizes are available. And what sizes are available are, de are determined by what simple products are added in connection to that configurable product. So in other words, small, extra small, small, medium, large in this case. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, if you liked the video, if it was helpful, please share it. Comment below um, any details. I'm going to be doing a few more videos. I'm definitely going to do one next on configurable product. So uh, look for that one next. Um, hope you enjoyed it and have a good day.